friends came by to say goodbye to her today. The line started to form before sunrise to view the coffin of the Tejano superstar from Corpus Christi who was shot and killed on Friday afternoon. Nancy Laughlin has more. This is a difficult day for Irene and Luis Flores. When they heard the news that Salino Quintanilla was dead, the couple drove all the way from Indio, California to honor her. To them, Selena was much more than a performer. Um, somehow she seemed to um, let everyone know that they, you know, they could do something with their lives, you know, and better themselves. Irene and Luis were among thousands of people who flocked to the Bayfront Plaza Convention Center to honor Selena. The line stretched around the building, but the fans didn't seem to mind the wait. And this is what they were waiting for. All day long, the casket was closed, but late tonight, the superstar's father decided to open it. He reportedly grew tired of rumors that Selena was not in the casket. The superstar Tejano singer who fans believe was so beautiful grew up in Corpus Christi and they say no matter how successful she became, she never forgot her roots. Selena not only captured the hearts of folks here in Corpus Christi, but across the state. When word of her death traveled, news media from across the state and nation arrived here in Corpus Christi to cover the event. An event Chris and Luis Flores say they wish never happened. But this couple tells us even though Selena is gone, she will not be forgotten. Irene is five months pregnant. Well, to honor her in memory, uh, my wife has a girl. We will name her Selena. Like many folks here, the Floridas say it is a difficult time, but knowing this woman's memory will live on makes it easier. Nancy Laughlin, 3 Eyewitness News. Thousands of people also showed up at the Los Angeles Sports Arena today for a mass dedicated to Selena. As Maggie Rodriguez reports, the young singer had been scheduled to perform there on Saturday night. As dawn broke across the Corpus Christi Bay, a line of grieving fans has snaked its way down the seawall. Fans who drove overnight to bid farewell to their Selena. Within the first two hours, more than 2,000 people would walk slowly by Selena's closed casket, some in silence, some overwhelmed with grief. The stories remained the same, though. Selena was special to each person in their own way. And Selena was not, is not gone. She was unfortunately taken away from us, and, you know, we feel for that right now, and I'm sure that that's why everybody's here also, to give a little bit of something back that she gave to us. Beneath the quiet dignity of the wake, some bitterness showed through from fans who wanted one last look. All due respect, we want to see Selena for the last time. We do not think that it's so unfair, it is so unfair that it has to be a closed casket. You see, we want to see Selena for the last time. In Corpus Christi, Stuart Stanley for ABC News. Obviously, that is not the report that we were expecting from Los Angeles. We're sorry we did not have it. In the meantime, Selena's family issued a statement today urging her fans to oppose the concealed weapon bill now pending in the state legislature. That measure would allow Texans to carry concealed handguns. It was passed by the state Senate late last month and is now under consideration in the House, which is expected to approve it. Governor Bush has also indicated that he will sign the bill as long as it contains adequate licensing and training requirements. Elsewhere in the news this evening, 34-year-old Yolanda Salivar, the San Antonio woman accused of killing Selena, remains in the Nueces County Jail on a $100,000 bond. Salivar was the president and founder of Selena's fan club in San Antonio. She also managed the singer's clothing stores, but she was suspected of stealing money and was being fired. Well, that in was in two hours. You can see right now the suspect in this case, Yolanda Saldivar. Music officials say Selena's recordings are selling out across the nation and the distributors can't shop, stock the shelves fast.